Hi and welcome back. Today we are going to discuss number patterns. Now in number patterns, the most important thing is that you must understand the language. If I was giving you the following number pattern, 1, 3, 5, 7, you need to understand what is N and what is TN. Now, TN refers to the total value. So when I mention that term 4 is equal to 7, term 4 is equal to 7, then TN is equal to 7. And N, which is the number in line, in this case, 4. Now let's understand this again. TN is the value, whereas N is the number it is standing in the row. So if I'm talking of term 2, this refers to TN, the value is 3, whereas in N is equal to 2. So N is what number is it standing in a row? If you are standing in a row and you are 6 in the row, then your N is 6. But your TN is your name. So <clears throat> if I am standing in the row, I am 6, that is my N. But Nadia, that is my TN. Let's take another example. If I gave you 2, 12, 22, 32, 42. Now if I ask you, what is the N of 42? The N of 42. Then you would tell me it is in which position. So if you've got our positions on top, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 then n is 5. So we have n is equal to 5. Okay, so we need to understand what is tn and what is n. In this case, n of 42 is 5, but tn of 5 is 42. In grade 10, the formula you would learn is tn is equal to a n plus b. Now TN would refer to the total value and N would refer to what number is it standing in the row. Before you continue further, you must be comfortable with the terminology of TN and you must be able to tell the difference between TN and N. Once we have that in place, it would be easier to use the formulas to get equations and to solve the solutions related to number patterns. Thank you for watching.